hey lovely people it's your girl fran welcome or welcome back to my channel today i have a different kind of video for you where i'm talking about grief what it's like going through grief and how someone can be there for you when you are going through grief now this is something that you know it's been on my mind for the past two weeks because i know what it's like going through grief i know like because obviously i've lost people very close to me and i know how i would have maybe want some of my friends or family members or people who are around me to be there for me and so i thought let me do this video this is basically me from my experience and what i have learned as someone who has grieved but also someone who has been close to other people who are grieving how best i can be there for them and how best people can be there for me because um grief is something that people don't like to talk about well death death is something that we don't like to talk about but it's the one thing that is guaranteed like we are all going to die as as much as it is it is harder to talk about it is the one thing that we know for sure is going to happen to us so one of the first things that people really shouldn't do is to assume that when you are grieving that you want space that is the time that you need people around you the most. That is the time that you want people to be around you. You want them to call you, to check up on you. Are you okay? It doesn't have to be every single day. But you want people around you because you're already going through a hard time losing a close one, a loved one who is who was there in your life and you want those other people who are close to you to surround you to love you to show that you know sometimes they don't even need to say anything they don't need to say much but just to send that text or message hey hope you're okay just letting you know i'm thinking of you for me and for me as someone who has griefed a loved one that is something that i i would do to someone else and something that i would want people to do for me and it's not always been that case like you know it's not always and sometimes it's like i understand like not everybody knows how to react to someone grieving someone some people don't know because some people have not been through it they, it's not been affected they've not been affected by it so i understand some people may not know but i think if you understand already that this person is going through a hard time like it's gonna be a hard time for them because you kind of like want to put yourself in that shoes if i was going through this how would I, it would be a difficult time for me so because of that i'm gonna look at whatever this friend this um partner is going through it's a difficult time for them so the best that i can do even if i don't know what to say to them right now the best that i can do is check up on them is be there for them when you're grieving you don't need space honestly people you don't need space you want the people who love and care for you to surround you and love you the second thing that leads on from that is that sometimes people talk too much like because grief and death is such a thing that people find it hard to talk about is that sometimes people then just talk like it's not necessarily they're talking about the death but they can talk sometimes asking you oh what happened were they sick were they ill what did this like sometimes that can be hard especially if it's a sudden death for that person or if it's a really close person like when i lost my mom people were asking me oh what happened to her? like sometimes i just i don't want to answer like so like it's good be there for people but don't ask too much i don't talk too much or say things like oh they're in a better place or you're gonna meet you know, of course, these are the things that, you know, maybe if you're a believer, you're a Christian, you know these things. But you don't want people to bombard you with this when you're going through grief. Like, you don't want people, someone to bombard you. You want them to be there for you, but you don't want too much. So just knowing to have that balance, like, be there for that person, love on them, but don't talk too much. Yeah. Another thing that leads on from what I've just said, which is about if you're a believer, you know, a Christian, a Muslim, whatever it may be, is that when someone is going through grief, is they need your prayers. They need you to pray for them. They may not ask it. They may not even know it. They may not even know that they need your prayers, but they need it because it's a difficult time. It's, it's It can be one of the hardest things for some people, the hardest things they will ever go through in life. For me, definitely, I know like when I have grieved has been one of the hardest things to go through in life. And I know that I would love for people to pray on me, to pray for me for that time that I'm going through because it could be that maybe 
I am out there, I'm smiling, I'm laughing, but deep down, it's eating me up. Or it could be that I'm not out there, I'm keeping to myself, I don't want to talk to anyone. You know, and when I lost my mom, that was that was a, a, a phase that I went through where I didn't really want to talk to anyone. And, you know, I started doing things that I wouldn't usually normally do. And, you know, in the end, I had to go um, and seek counselling, which, to be honest, I, I didn't even complete. And I'm looking now to, to go to counselling again and continue doing that because it's such a thing that it can affect you like obviously like when someone you love passes away those first couple of days weeks months you know will probably be the hardest times but and you know people say over time you heal but sometimes it can just hit you like it, it can it there's no particular time to grieving there's no particular time to getting over that i don't think sometimes you can never get over that um it's just that you know life has to carry on so the other things that you do in life kind of um makes you put that at the back of your mind um so yeah so the third thing is that people need your prayers pray for them pray for me pray for my family pray for my loved ones like um sometimes even if you don't have anything to say just pray it's the best because god can hear your prayers and he can help another thing you can do for someone who's grieving or going through grief is to reach out it's to just remember sometimes maybe the birthdays of the loved one or the anniversary like me for example every single year when it's my is the anniversary of my mom's death i take it off work i never go to work on that day like it doesn't matter whatever i'm doing i might be doing something i might not be doing anything but i do not want to work on that day because you know sometimes i found myself even when working like not even on the anniversary just crying like i'll just start crying when think like maybe a thought will make me think of my mom or like recently my niece some like the other day i was dancing i think it was yesterday or the day before i was dancing and then i remember that she loved to dance and i'm like she can't even dance anymore and i stopped you know and it's it's those things so for me like i don't do anything on that day so when if someone was to remember that and reach out just be like you know hey I, i'm thinking of you today you know i know it might be a difficult time but just want to let you know i'm here for you that can go a long way that can really really help because that person could be having a difficult day but the fact that you're there for them you showed that you know you remember or um, even if you don't remember like sometimes maybe I'll put it on my social media like maybe if it's the anniversary or my mom's birthday you know I might put it on there but when people comment and they be like you know thinking of you sis or just things like that like that is what keeps me going that helps me to have a better day knowing that the people that I love and care for that are alive now show me that I don't know how to explain it but yeah the other thing i want to talk about is practical support if someone you love and care for is grieving it's a time that probably they're not going to work it's a time that they're probably just not doing anything there are there there if it, even if you can't um maybe you don't know how to be there for them emotionally you can be there for them practically helping them around the house clean cook um you know one or two times you can go check up on them like it doesn't it doesn't even have to be anything big but or maybe i don't know like um to think oh um maybe on that day of the anniversary or the birthday it might be a difficult day let me reach out let me take them out for dinner let me take them out for lunch to kind of make them not forget it but you know um not spend that day maybe crying or being sad like you can do that for them and also i want to say that like when someone is grieving or when someone you love passes away there is a lot that goes on within that time like um for example when my mom passed away you know i had to arrange the funeral i had to plan it was a busy time and people should understand that that's a busy and difficult time for you if you call me or you message me and you're not able to get through to me you shouldn't be getting upset like you should try and understand that like it's a difficult time for me i could not have picked up that phone for different reasons but that doesn't mean whatever it is you're trying to reach out to me whether it is to grieve with me or whether it is to um for anything else that you're trying to reach out to me for that i haven't picked up the call or i haven't replied or responded to your messages it doesn't mean that i don't like you anymore it doesn't mean that i have anything against you it just necessarily means that one i'm going through a difficult time so something that people need to understand is 
how you can be there for someone who is grieving is by being patient just being patient and try to understand that it's a difficult time for that person a lot can be going on it could be even be that maybe you're trying to reach the person and maybe they're posting on social media and it looks like they're ignoring you but you don't know what's going behind the scenes and until you hear from that person you you can you can assume but it shouldn't mean that you should get upset you should get mad and say things and say horrible things or act in funny or different ways um something i always say is that you know people who are there for you either when you're getting married when you have a child or when you lose a loved one those are the very three important things that happen in our lives that you know um it can change um it can change the courses of our lives and if the people who say that they love and care for you are not there at those times that you needed them the most or some it may not even be getting married it could be maybe getting a divorce you know if they are not there at those times then it says a lot or if they were there um and they make excuses on I mean, there's some excuses that you can forgive. There's some excuses that you can overlook. But if it is that, you know, they're making excuses or they're not reaching out at all or, you know, they're reaching out but um, in a funny or different way. So, yeah, like me, for example, maybe you reached out to me and I couldn't pick up my call. I couldn't respond to a message. I know that, you know, recently when I lost my niece, I wasn't on my phone. I wasn't on WhatsApp. Like, if I was on my phone, it was picking calls um, um, to, for family members that wanted to come. Like, I was not on social media. And some people were trying to reach me on social media. And some people just didn't understand that, you know, I was not on those social media. Even though may, I may have been posting and I was posting about the run the cancer research run and people sponsoring that and posting videos of my niece but that doesn't mean i was on social media even instagram i only went back there like two days ago and i haven't even posted stuff on there like on my stories or anything and you know everybody one thing we need to understand is everybody deals with grief differently even though in your mind you might say you know but this is what i'll do this is what i'll do you can't say that for another person because everybody deals with grief differently. What you can do is by being there for that person. That's the best you can do is by loving on them. Is that is by showing that you care for them. But saying that, oh, this is how I'll do things or I won't do it like this, is you can't say that because you don't know how that person is dealing with that everybody deals with things differently and grief is one thing that you can never people i remember when my mom passed away and people were telling me i needed to wear black and i'm like i don't want to wear black that is not my way of grieving for my mom and i remember like a few days leading up to the funeral i said i wanted to go to the beach and they were like why are you going to the beach your mom just passed away and i'm like I'm going to the beach because I want to go for a long walk. I want to go and relax. I want to go and unwind a bit. Like, I've been here and I've been um, sorting out this funeral. And I just want to, you know, I'm going to be burying my mom in a few days. And it's been a difficult time for me. I just want to, I just want to just relax. I just want to do that. And people didn't understand that. And it's not for you to understand it's not for you, it's for me to understand and for me to know that is what I need at that time. And for me to know that that is my way of grieving. Whatever it is, it could be me locking myself in a room. It, it could be me showing myself out, you know? Some people, they lock away, some people show themselves out. But whatever it is, that is my way of grieving. And you can't tell me how to grieve. You can't tell me. The best you can do is be there for me. Anyway, so guys, I hope that you have learned a thing or two about how you can best be there for a loved one who is grieving someone that they've lost close to them. Grief, death, it's a difficult time for us, but this is a time that we can show our love and care and support more. I hope that this video has helped you one way or the other because I know for me these are some of the things that I've learned and that I would like people around me to learn. If you've already watched so far in this video, Video, don't forget to like comment and subscribe and check out my, the rest of my other videos see you again soon guys bye